It's not going to be like last week, is it? I mean, I am going to get a queue, aren't I? And... 12.30, and it must be Greenfinger time. I can see Radio West's own expert, our man of the soil, Bill Sage, over there in the corner, hanging up his straw hat and taking off his muddy boots. Come into the garden, Bill. It's all yours. Many thanks. <laughs> well, now, I bet you're worried sick as I am about the dry spell we've been having. My goodness. But, you know, many people think the only sort of water they can get in their garden is out of a tap. Well, with a little effort, there is another way. It's pretty thin stuff, Eddie. Yeah, I know. He states the obvious, doesn't he? I mean, your case story for this week. We seem to have a summer slump. What do you mean? It's got human interest. It's about dogs and kennels. All right, it's got doggy interest, then. Today, I want to tell you how to make a dew pond. You can have the clearest, brightest, best-tasting water. Dew ponds can be easily constructed. Your private air spot must have strong human drama. I can't manufacture stories, Don. I have to take what comes. People out there have a thousand problems. Your clients at our expense. Well, if they've got problems, they're keeping them to themselves. Of course, there is the bloke in Siren Sester who reckons that Martin Borman's working there as a traffic warden. Is that the sort of thing you want? What I want, Eddie, is dynamism. That's what makes a radio station tick over. Try harder. Mr. Sashley, you should be on your way to the country show lunch. Right. See ya. He's got terrific dynamism when it comes to free lunches, isn't he? Is there anything for me? Not much. A Mrs Atwell phoned about a murder. She claims she's got some new evidence.